We move now to page 21 to DA 305 of 2021, a development application for Northwest Bay River multi-user trail stage one at Huon Highway Sandfly to Riverdale Road Sandfly it, with a recommendation on page 38. So moved. I have a mover in Councillor Cordover and a seconder in Councillor Fox. Councillor Cordover. Thank you very much, Mayor. This is the proposal for a 2.5 kilometre long multi-use trail for walking, cycling and horse riding, known as Stage 1 between the Hewan Highway at Sandfly to Riverdale Road at Sandfly. And Stage 1 forms part of a longer distance multi-use trail proposed between Longley and Margate along the Northwest Bay River. Tracks and trails like this one are associated with a range of benefits from increased health and well-being, increased physical activity, sustainable transport options, tourism and economic opportunities. And in this particular case, um, as you can see from a very comprehensive report, that it does comply, this proposal complies with all the relevant aspects of the planning scheme, um, the various zones and codes, rural resource, environmental management, building and works in the waterway and coastal protection area, etc. cetera. Um, and anyone that has... So I, I think there's there's a whole lot of benefits that that we'll see from this from this proposal, um, but of course anyone that has walked along a popular hiking trail um, can also it might be aware of the, the the risks of degradation to the environmental um, values of those areas that can be produced by high numbers of walkers in a fragile environment. And what we're looking at here uh, with the Northwest Bay River is indeed a fragile environment, and it is really one of Kingborough's um, incredible natural assets. Uh, it's our largest river system. It's um, a really important um, environmental area and it protects uh, an enormous array of incredibly important species, biodiversity, flora and fauna. So for me, the importance of this particular proposal and why I'm so proud to be moving it tonight is that it provides an opportunity, it will provide an opportunity for residents and visitors alike to be awed, inspired and recharged by nature. I think we all need that and I think we all benefit from it. And this development application is compliant with those relevant aspects of the scheme, but putting aside the fact that this proposal is compliant, it's absolutely paramount to me that this proposal protects the natural values of the area, including the six vegetation communities along the river and the riparian zones. So I've got a few questions um, that might help elucidate that. Is it possible for somebody to briefly explain um, the kind of protections that will take place um, for the environment with this proposal? Ms Tyler Moore. Um, through you, Mayor, the planning, application, uh, the planning permit, if issued, includes a condition for the construction management plan. That's obviously just for during construction, um, so that we have the details and accountability for what will occur, and we will review that. If we think that there's issues with the heavy machinery and the like, then we have the ability to address that. Um, going forward, um, protection of the environment, that would be up to the... Um, the assets management team to deal with that and look at that and I suspect that they would probably work with the environmental team um, to do that. The planning permit is more for the construction of it and development of it um, and it doesn't necessarily have ongoing maintenance rules but if they did want to um, extend or widen or change the design that wasn't compliant with the planning permit then they may need to come back to um, planning to get approval for that variation. Um, and there we, therefore we would have the opportunity to ask for further environmental assessments. Thank you. And so am I right in uh, assuming that there's um, particular stipulations around heavy vehicle movement in and around those areas or a heavy machinery use? I think you mentioned something like that in the report. Ms Tyler Moore. Oh. Oh, um, through you, Mayor, the um, condition of the permit does ask for the details um, about the machinery and yes, commentary is in the report under the um, response to the representations and I think in other parts about that heavy machinery. We don't stipulate it in absolute detail in the condition because it becomes too, con um, too difficult to navigate around if there's particular um, piece of machinery or something. We would need to look at it on a as-case basis. Thank you. Um, a couple of just... Uh, areas of interest. Um, page 31, my question is about the log. So on page 31, one of the dot points there says that there's a large log um, with a 300 mil hollow facing the stream downstream in the vicinity of the proposed bridge. It's considered that the log is unstable and likely to move downstream further during the next flooding event. 
and so the final bridge location will, where possible, avoid this log and minimise impacts on native vege vegetation. I just wonder if there's any more detail around... Uh, um, my question is, I guess, what other sites, I assume, were, were looked at for that bridge? So I'm, it's just a question about the context around that log. Ms Tullamore. Through you, Mayor, um, I am not aware of the other sites that were considered that may have been considered by the um, engineering team that put the application together, what they considered. We, we just assessed what was before us um, and the supporting reports for that, um, the location of that. I don't know further specifics about the log other than what's contained in the report um, and the um, details of the construction, the location, the bridge will be in the plans. Thank you. Um, one last question about the, some environmental concerns. Um, in terms of the wedge-tailed eagles, there's a, it stipulates clearly that the work is going to be done outside of, um, outside of breeding time. Um, but then on, on page 35 it says to ensure, there's a dot point there that says to ensure in-stream natural habitat will not be impacted by the proposal, river crossings will utilise natural riverbed rock surface. Uh, no in-stream vegetation or habitat will be disturbed. And here's the important bit. A bridge will be installed over Cook Rivulet to prevent any impacts. The bridge will be lifted into position using a helicopter. Um, and my question is just about... So I realise that the work is going to be conducted outside of um, when it might be a threat to the wedge-tailed eagles, but are there any other environmental concerns associated with the, the, use, of a bridge, uh, the use of a helicopter to do a bridge rather than a bridge to do a helicopter? <laughs> Ms Tyler Moore. <laughs> Not a question I've anticipated. Um, I don't know the answer, I'd be guessing. I could also guess that it might upset a few animals. Um, it's perhaps it's something that we need to look at um, as it is a council project, whether that is the, the best method and I don't think they would select the use of a helicopter lightly because I don't think they come cheaply, just a guess. Um, so perhaps it's something our engineering department who are managing the project could look at um, and ensure that they are taking the best steps to protect the natural environment. Thank you very much. Just to conclude my remarks, Mayor, to say that the North West Bay River is our, it's our largest river system in Kingborough and it's such an amazing, beautiful natural asset and it protects a wealth of biodiversity. Uh, this proposal, I believe, is sensitive to those environmental values and I think will be a great asset to provide for the community and visitors to Kingborough for the years to come. Thank you. Thank you. Councillor Contributions? I on have one more question. Sorry. Oh, sorry, Councillor Cordova. Uh, feel free to tell me if this is not a planning matter. Will dogs be prohibited from being on the track? Mr Smee. Uh, through you, Mayor, not a planning matter. It's, it's <laughs> a matter that Council will need to consider as a matter of policy, um, and we'd need to do that through our dog management policy, and that would require an assessment of environmental values and you know whether whether dogs are likely to be detrimental to those environmental values. Thank you. Councillor Fox. Are there any further questions? If not, I will put the recommendation, uh, which is printed on page 38, is recommended for approval. It has 12 conditions. It was moved by Councillor Cordover and seconded by Councillor Fox. All those in favour? Against? Motion is carried unanimously. With that